Hey, this is Danny from Scare Talk. Uh, Before we get into all the horror greatness, I got to let you know about Anchor. Anchor is the host site that we use to record our podcast. Um, Anchor will upload your podcast to Apple and Spotify and many other listening platforms. Anchor is completely free. And you can download the app or go to the website, anchor.fm. And you can record straight on there. There's also some cool editing tools that you can use. Um, Did I mention that it's free? Yeah, so if you want to make a podcast, Anchor is the way to go. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Now, for the spooky stuff. Welcome to Scare Talk, a horror movie podcast. For horror fans, this podcast will cover horror movie reviews, ratings, and rankings. Now for your hosts, Danny and Joel. <laughs> Alright, this is Scare Talk, and I am Danny, and I am here with Joel. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Today... We're going to talk about the next film in the Halloween series, Halloween 4. 4. And that's 1988, um, I think. I think so, something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think it was 88, 5 is 89. They went really and then quick they jumped to the next one. Years, yeah. Yeah, they did. Um, okay, so we're going to try something new here. Before we get into the movie, I have some trivia questions for Joel. Oh, man. And I have have some some for you as well. Okay. All right. (laughs) Um, All right. So it's horror trivia time. It's horror trivia. (laughs) All right. I'll go first. I'll ask you first, and then you can ask me. All right. Um, Let's see. see. What horror movie features a serial killer wearing a mask inspired by an Edvard Munch painting? Um, Scream. Yes. Good job. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> did you hear that? A I, little ding, I, ding, ding. Yeah, I did hear that. Oh, oh you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I got a couple more. All right. What horror film caused movie theaters to suggest that patrons prone to motion sickness sit in the aisle seats? Paranormal activity? No. Oh, man. Okay. Um, motion sickness? Yes. Prone to motion sickness. Jaws? No. <laughs> uh, I guess. You're on a boat? You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so those, you only get two guesses. Only two? <laughs> That's not how baseball works. <laughs> All right, you can do one more. <laughs> All right, motion sickness. Um, hmm. I don't know. See. I'll give you the options. All right. We yeah. have Vertigo, The Blair Witch Project, Mimic. Or Friday the Thirteenth Part Three Three D. Okay. <laughs> Blair Witch Project. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One Friday more. 13th, let's 3D. see if. You, <laughs> let's see if you can do it. All right. All right. Let's do it. Because that one doesn't count. You didn't get that one. Oh, well, that's that's messed up. <laughs> All right. In Poltergeist, what grabs Robbie Freeling through his bedroom window? A uh, tree. Yeah. I was going to say a poltergeist. <laughs> nice job. All right. You got oh, two man. out of three. All right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's decent. It's, yeah. Would have been better to get three out of three, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't have sound effects for mine, oh, unfortunately. I know. That's lame. <laughs> um, this one's... I'm going to start... Easy, and then um, the next one should be a little bit more difficult. But who's considered to be Hollywood's first scream queen? This will be Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes, it would be. All right. Ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> next one is... In which Friday the 13th movie did Jason Voorhees acquire his hockey mask? Oh. It's not the second one. I'm going... Three. 3D. That is correct. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Which franchise has the most sequels, Hellraiser or Friday the 13th? 
Oh. <laughs> I gotta go with Friday the 13th. That is correct. Oh, wow, yeah. I was hoping that one was gonna stump you a little bit. Because there's a lot of Hellraiser. Yeah, so. there is. Have you seen any of the... I have seen, I think, most of them, actually. Hellraiser? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Not all of them, but I've seen most of them. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I've only seen the first one. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't get much better than that one, so... <laughs> first one was pretty intense. It was, it, that, yeah. That's, that that's a was rough one. <laughs> All right, but we're not talking about that. We're, we're talking about Halloween 4. So can you tell us who's in this? I most certainly can. What would you think um, of the trivia? Was that, it was was that fun. fun? I liked yeah? it, yeah. yeah. It was a blast. Yes, it was a blasty blast. <laughs> um, all right, so who we've got for Halloween Quattro 4. <laughs> we have Donald Pleasance. Coming back as Dr. Loomis. Yes. And he was in Prince of Darkness, Escape from New York, and 1984. Oh. It was based on a, the novel 1984. So, okay. Yeah. And also, <laughs> we have Danielle Harris, who was Little yes. Jimmy. Yes. She is awesome. Yes, she is. And she was in Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. Um, city Slickers. It's not, you know, really. Oh, it's a, City Slickers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. George, and, you're such a city slicker. <laughs> and more recently, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, really? Yeah. She didn't have a very big part, but she was definitely in it. So. Hmm. Um, didn't know that. Yeah. Didn't recognize her. The So, and um, this was, this is funny, because this is actually the story for this movie was created by... Like four people, okay. four different, yeah, four different writers. Only one of them was also did the screenplay as well. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mention all of them on here, even though only one of them really did more than this movie. Um, so <laughs> written by Alan B. McElroy. Okay. He did the story and the screenplay for this movie, and he also wrote Spawn. <laughs> oh right. Wrong turn. Oh man. And this is. This is out of left field, but left behind the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. He's got quite the resume. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, we have Donnie, Danny, Lipsius did the story. Donnie, Danny? Donnie. No, Donnie. It's D-H-A-N-I. I don't oh, know if it's okay. Donnie or if it's Danny. <laughs> Depending on how you pronounce it. <laughs> Donnie, Danny. <laughs> uh, did the story. Larry Ratner did the story, and Benjamin Ruffner did the story. Okay. Didn't really do anything else after that. And the director was Dwight H. Little, mm. and he directed Phantom of the Opera, the 1989 Phantom okay. of the Opera, uh, um, Free Willy 2. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and Murder at 1600 with Wesley Snipes. Oh, Snacks. okay. Yeah. All right, I've actually um, heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of Free Willy 2? <laughs> Okay, well, this one is The Return of Michael Myers. That's yes. actually in the title. <laughs> Halloween 4, The Return, Return. of Michael Myers. Um, after Halloween 3, everybody was pretty pissed off, and yeah, wanted, they had to bring him back. They wanted more Michael. Yeah. Um, this one takes place ten years after the original. Yep. Pretty much the same story, only this time he's hunting his niece. Mm-hmm. Not his sister. Nope. He's hunting his sister's daughter. Yeah. And we find out what happened. I think we find out in this movie what happened to Lori. Yeah. Yeah. Like four or uh, five, she was yeah. in a um, car accident. Yeah. Apparently. Which is a really lame way. <laughs> thing, but yeah. <laughs> that was just that, barely that, mentioned, too. Yeah, it was. It was just <laughs> kind of like, oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah. You know, that's why you're a foster <laughs> sister and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, that's the story. Um, Jamie is the little girl It's his niece mm -hmm. And she lives with the foster family And he's coming to get her Yep <laughs> um, Okay <clears throat> So What did you think of this? What are your, your positives here? I enjoyed this one um, This was I wouldn't say it's like up there with my favorites But it's definitely a solid sequel To the Halloween movies yeah. I really I really liked Jamie in this movie. Yeah. And I really liked Rachel. Yeah. In this That's movie. That's her sister. Her sister, yeah. yeah. So far in the series, she is a way better final girl than Lori. Yes. Was yeah. in the first Rachel. two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rachel. Rachel and Jamie. Yeah, yeah, and Jamie. <laughs> yeah. So 
I I liked yeah there were definitely I liked the characters more in this movie than I yeah. had in the last couple probably yeah one and two I really only liked Lori and um, Michael Loomis, and Loomis. And, oh, Michael yeah. I guess too <laughs> can't not he counts. like Michael <laughs> he's a character <laughs> <laughs> but this one had a lot more likable characters and a lot more um, yeah. strong stronger performances than they had in the last couple Def- of them definitely. This was definitely a, a a better sequel than others down okay. the road. <laughs> Would you say this one is better than the number two? No, no. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. It's just I don't know. I it's hard because I as as a whole story one and two really go yeah. well together. It, it's yeah. a really good story. Um, two by itself is a little weaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But as a full story, it's it's a it's a complete story. And right. It Should have honestly. Should it should have ended with two, but if you're yeah. gonna make sequels to it, then this was um, this was definitely a good sequel to to go back on that. But I don't think it was better than two. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um. So for me, I've got uh, quite a few positives, and then a couple of things just to mention. So I definitely liked this one. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> once we do our rankings, uh, sometime in October. Yeah, I'm sure this is probably gonna be like top four. Top four for me. Yeah, out of eleven by that time. Yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. I mean, unless the new one just does really, really well. Yeah, then maybe it'll be top five. <laughs> um, Either way, it's it's gonna it's gonna be it's, high on the list. Yeah, and it might even be top two. We'll see. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I really like Jamie. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that. She's believable. I think that the acting is yeah. is done well for her, and she's like nine, yeah, or something. So, yeah. um, it's pretty impressive. And uh, you honestly feel like she's scared, you mm-hmm. know. And I yeah. think that kind of adds to the drama of the movie. Is he's he's going after a little girl? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I that's you yeah. don't see that in many. Mm-hmm. At least not slashers. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> not really. I need to kill this little girl. <laughs> yeah, like, a little that. messed up. It's kind of okay. yeah. It's such a bully. <laughs> yeah. No, come on, Uncle. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought the atmosphere and the tone was mm-hmm. Halloween. Yeah, you know, it was. felt like Halloween. Haddonfield, you know, we're back in Haddonfield, which was nice. Um, there was some daytime stuff. There's a scene where. Um, the like kids at Jamie's school are like making fun of her, like mm-hmm. yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> chanting like you're an orphan or something. Yeah. Your parents are dead. Or yeah, and it's like, like what really? Your yeah. uncle's the boogeyman, boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, or something like that. And uh, she's like running away from them, and it just it reminded me of the first movie mm-hmm. when Tommy is getting like picked on. Mm-hmm. And he, like, drops his pumpkin or falls on his pumpkin or whatever. Yeah. It were, kind of reminded me of that. So it gives the Halloween vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. You kind of get that again with this. Um, probably the closest vibe to the first movie so far. Mm-hmm. Out of the other three. Yeah. I, it's Yeah, I mean, it's up there with, with two for me. But, yeah, I still... Two, it, two just had a different... It, it definitely did have a different Halloween vibe to it. It didn't take yeah. place in a neighborhood. It was in a yeah. hospital. So that alone kind of makes it a little bit yeah um, under. But, yeah. yeah I, I did like the tone for this movie, though. Yeah. It and for back. me, like, the... Just the... Um, just Haddonfield. The, like, just suburb, basic mm-hmm. little town. You know? Yeah. That is Halloween mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. So you kind of kind of need that for me um for it to be a halloween movie for it Mm -hmm. to feel like one to me so i like that they kind of went back to that now okay i'll talk about this later um (laughs) oh some of the kills were cool they Um, were see yeah and that's actually oh sorry (laughs) (laughs) sorry um yeah that was actually what i was gonna i wanted to bring up earlier was the fact that they really brought it home that he has supernatural abilities like he's a lot stronger yeah than he should be and <laughs> a lot stronger than he has been in the last two movies yeah like i feel like 
I feel like the the human Michael Myers <laughs> actually did die in Halloween Two. Oh, okay. And they brought in you know we don't see what happens between the scenes or whatever for the character, but he is brought back as a, as like a supernatural okay. entity. Yeah, um, that's not said, but it's not yeah. said. But he is a lot stronger in this movie than yeah. he has been in the last two. Yeah, and you 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 see that in like the very first kill of the movie when he like <laughs> pokes his thumb through the doctor's like forehead. Yeah. Like, no, it's no, you, no. It's he's, like physically impossible. He, yeah, exactly. But. And he's that's never been a kill. Like <laughs> nothing like that has ever been a no. kill for him before. No. So it kind of I don't know. It, I feel like. The that the man Michael Myers actually did get blown up in okay. Halloween two, All right. and he was brought back as a supernatural entity oh, in this one. And okay, that's interesting. He's a lot, he's a lot stronger yeah. now than he's yeah. ever been before. Huh, I could see that. And now he can't die ever. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. That's that's an interesting take. Yeah, especially him jamming his thumb through yeah. the forehead. Of and then one of the other kills with the the truck driver. When he when he punches his fist through the, oh, through the yeah. window, and yeah. then with one hand he's like ripping his dude's face off, yeah. like what? Yeah. I was like, that is intense. That Even, is so like, awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, while he's driving, while he's driving, too. yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I forgot about so, that one. There's there's no way. And he's never he's never acted like that before. <laughs> yeah, in any movies before. He's just out of control. He is, yeah. <laughs> um, another kill that was cool was so there's a part where they're in the sheriff's home, and like the sheriff has cops kind of hanging out in different parts of the house. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them is watching the door, and he's sitting in this rocking chair. Yeah, and you you know they make a point in the movie to show that he's sitting there with his shotgun like mm-hmm. waiting just in case someone comes to the door and then a little while later in the movie one of the characters is like in the kitchen and she's trying to ask the cop who's sitting at the door a question mm-hmm. and then she sees that he's dead like she sees him on the ground or something like that and he's dead and then the cop who you think is the cop who's sitting in the chair then stands up and it's michael Mm -hmm. and then he stabs her with a shotgun (laughs) yeah (laughs) he like just jams a shotgun into her apparently she's made out of butter (laughs) and that that goes back to his supernatural like abilities and stuff he he was definitely they definitely used a lot of that in this movie (laughs) i love it um but yeah, I thought it was cool how he like switched spots. Like sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like he just likes to mess with the oh yeah his victims. I'm sure he <laughs> does. Yeah. Like, he's probably under his mask, he's just like, laughing. Killing people is so easy. <laughs> I, need, I need a more challenging thing to do here. Yeah, the he apparently wipes out the entire police department too. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. we don't see any of that. But yeah. you know they get there and just everybody's dead. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you uh, hear you hear shooting going on at the end yeah. of the movie, but yeah, yeah it's yeah that's. <laughs> and they do go back to the score, um, more even closer to the original score than the second movie. Yeah, I feel like. Um, there, yeah, there was so definitely like a little that. bit different, but it was definitely it definitely did sound a lot more like the original. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So those are all my positives there. Man. Do you have any negatives you want to talk about? So, um, my my biggest negative for this movie. I oh really, wait, I have one more positive. Oh okay, Go for <laughs> sorry. <it. laughs> the end. The yeah. end with Jamie at yeah. the stairs that is, and that was yeah that was a very strong scene yeah um and I was looking forward to how they were going to handle that in the next movie because <laughs> it yeah. left it, it left it off with like really cool like yeah is she gonna be the next right Michael Myers this yeah. nine year old girl <laughs> sure it's not gonna be as intimidating but yeah. you know <laughs> well and we can say what happens with just spoiler alert she survives michael supposedly yeah. dies he gets like buried alive and um then it has a scene at the end where you see from the point of view 
of a child like mm-hmm. you would like you did in the first film and she's stabbing her mom we don't know it's her but this child is stabbing her mom yeah and then you see that she's standing at the um, top of the stairs with a bloody knife and then you have Loomis no well, no <laughs> <laughs> no well they don't they don't show her from her point of view until the very beginning of the next movie you just hear a scream, and then she walks out of the bedroom. Oh, that's not until knife. the next movie. That's not until the that's next movie. Right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I jumped ahead. So spoilers for <laughs> Halloween 5. <laughs> that's but right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't know who she's stabbing, but right. you assume it's probably going to be. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, that her walking out of that bedroom, that, that bedroom holding a bloody knife. Yeah. With wearing, like, a, ma- a clown mask. Yeah. It's a perfect way to end, yeah. end this movie. It was really cool. <laughs> Um, okay, <clears throat> back to the negatives. So, my biggest negative, um, I'm just going to say the acting, again, was neutral. I'm not ever going to say it's bad or good for these movies. Yeah. Although, the acting in this movie was a lot better than it's ever been before. Yeah. They had yeah. a lot of, like, good, actually good actors that <laughs> come in, these, in this movie. Yeah. And um, I felt like um, Danielle Harris... Um, she's a really good actress. I think I think sometimes she's a little bit too good okay. for this for this particular movie, <laughs> Halloween Four. Like this yeah. is she's like the best actress in the entire movie. <laughs> but um, but that's another that's another positive um, for her. But uh, the biggest negative that I have goes back to Halloween Two. Okay. I um I feel like this, <laughs> oh yeah I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> I feel like. As much as I like Dr. Loomis as a character, <laughs> I feel like they really should have ended his character in Halloween 2. Yeah. Nobody would have survived an explosion like that. Like, he, he caused the explosion himself. Yeah. It was in his hands. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone was going to die, he was going to die in that explosion. <laughs> and it was a big explosion. And the only thing you see from him is, like, he's got a burn mark on his right side of his face. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> I understand. I think his hand, past. his hand too. He's yeah, like, his hand was a little I'll bit messed up. I'll never forget her. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Ten years have passed by, but I mean, yeah. uh, no. At the very least, he should look a lot worse yeah. than he does. Yeah, and he just has like a limp. <laughs> yeah, he's got a limp. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Because <laughs> he's holding whatever it made him blow up. Like, yeah. Um, a lighter or whatever in Halloween 2, but he's got a limp. Okay. <laughs> he should just not have an arm. Like that's <laughs> We're going to go with limbs. <laughs> so, honestly, I li- I really like the movie. I, th- I feel like that was probably <laughs> the biggest complaint that I have, though. Okay. Was Loomis. Yeah. I like Loomis. I, he's a great character in all of these movies. Yeah. But he shouldn't have been in this one. Okay. And all- Okay, I've got one more. All right. <laughs> So, you find out that um, Laurie and Michael are brother and sister in the end of Halloween 2. Yeah. So, two characters know that they're related. So, when you kill Michael Myers and ten years have gone by, why even mention that they're related? Because people know that Michael and Laurie are related at this point in the movie. Uh Uh-huh. Why why tell anybody? Like, that... Michael's gone. He hasn't even been. He's he's been dead for ten years. Like yeah. he hasn't do, he hasn't done anything yeah. um, in ten years. Why even bring up the fact that they were related in the first place? That was something that I just didn't understand. Like, why does Jamie have to know that they're related? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why does anybody have to know that they were related? Right. <laughs> Yeah, how did it even like? I mean, I guess it would. Did Loomis just tell everybody? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) such a gossiper. (laughs) Yeah, because it was literally her. It was him and the nurse. Yeah, that knew about it. it, Yeah, so I mean, uh, it's because we have to, as the audience, connect the dots. Like, because he's killing his family. Mm -hmm. So, in order for us to stay on board with that we have to know that jamie is his niece well we would have known because they mentioned that with Lori. that was Lori's daughter who they oh you're mentioned. saying you're saying that other so characters we would have known yeah we so the audience would have known but the characters didn't need to know okay i see what you're that saying. there's a relationship there. yeah yeah 
and that's that was another. <laughs> I just keep coming up with <laughs> negatives here, but um, just just. You know, bringing up the fact that Lori's dead and the fact that she died in a car accident, of <laughs> yeah, all things. Yeah. Like, she survived Michael Myers. Like, she can't survive a car accident. But, and just having that in the movie itself for, like, a split second. Not even yeah, yeah. really acknowledging anything about it. Yeah, she was very uh, brief. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of a negative for me. It's like, if you, if you had left the room for a second or yeah. didn't hear... You wouldn't have even known that they even brought her in, like her up at all, right? Yeah, which I thought was kind of and yeah, I think up. it can be um, <laughs> passed over pretty easily to not know mm-hmm. until later on you see that Jamie's like looking at pictures, yeah, and Lori is in one of the pictures, but you still don't know that's her mom. Mm-hmm. You know, she just has a picture of Lori. We yeah, don't, we don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's assumed, but mm-hmm. and you know her mom is dead. Yeah. But and it was very, very brief. It so. was, yeah. It made it like it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so those, yeah, those are my negatives. Two of them are not very big, but one of them, uh, I feel like Loomis shouldn't have been in the rest of the series. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> because right. of that reason. Um, okay, so I have one thing to mention, and then I'll talk about a couple negatives. The there's a scene where Loomis, you know, his uh, car explodes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yep. in order for him to get to Michael and to get to Haddonfield, he has to hitch a ride. <laughs> so he gets in this truck with this like priest, I'm guessing, or this. Something like that. <laughs> he's yeah. a priest. He's drinking and. <laughs> He's just a really weird character. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what? Why? Why? Why, yeah. Why so have this not, guy not in... Everyone <laughs> in Haddonfield are normal people. <laughs> it's like, he's, and he's like, you know, uh, Bible thumper. and But then mm-hmm. he's like drinking while he's driving. Yeah. Like he's, And then he gives like, hey, you want some? And gives Loomis. And Loomis <laughs> takes a drink. Like, what? <laughs> so out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah, that was just really out of place and mm-hmm. just felt like it was it should have been in a different movie or something. I yeah, it, it definitely <laughs> didn't feel like it belonged in that movie. <laughs> um, okay, and then there's negatives. Uh, so that was a neutral? For you? That was just like, what? <laughs> no, <whatever. laughs> I don't even know if it's a negative. It's yeah. just like a question mark. <laughs> something to bring up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Michael's mask. Not a big fan of this mask in this one. His hair is, like, slicked back. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Not a big fan of it. I don't understand. And I know there's probably, like, legal reasons and there's different actors that play Michael. But Mm -hmm. why can't they use just the regular original mask? Why? Because the masks change every movie. It does, yeah. (laughs) And it's not, like, it's... It's obvious that mm-hmm. it's a different mask. Yeah, like you would think some of them that, definitely more than others. Yeah. yeah, you would think that they would try to get it really, really close. Yeah, I don't know why it, they look so different. There is a scene. I don't know if it's this one or if it's five. That the mask from the, the angle that it is, it looks really weird. <laughs> like like droopy. Like it's. I think I think it's five, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't. It's remember just. That. It just looked. I just remember like. Just catching it from that, from the angle, from where he was standing, uh-huh. it just looks like it was like drooping down or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like five, it's too but big yes. or something. I don't like know. Yeah, it just it just felt it just seemed like it was yeah it was it was big it was hanging hanging down his face. <laughs> um, yeah, I I just remembered that I I think it was five though, okay. but yeah, but yeah, it's yeah the mask definitely has been a pretty big factor in these movies yeah like, they, it's huge it's his identity the, yeah a lot of the times i i i haven't really noticed a, a big change in a lot of these movies but mm-hmm. there has definitely been a change in yeah. like all of them so yeah. no yeah definitely so yeah that's just i don't understand why they can't get the mask to look the same yeah or use the same mask i mean i get I get that they might not have the rights to the mask or something, mm-hmm. or the actor, you know, has a smaller or bigger head or, you know, whatever. Yeah. But if you're going to make another one, then make it 
right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know? it, it's, it's supposed to be William Shatner's like face, so yeah. maybe he didn't like this movie. <laughs> So we're like we have to change yeah, this up because yeah, he. Yeah. I'm can't. sure he has a he has a say. He has in, like a molding <laughs> of his face. Yeah. Like you can't use my molding. <laughs> Not in this one. This is a horrible movie. <laughs> okay. It's well, you know well, yeah maybe. I mean it's his face, so <laughs> he does have somewhat of a say to it, right? <laughs> you can't use my face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay so the biggest negative I have for this movie and I always think of this scene when I think of this movie and these are this is stuff that happens like in the 80s and 90s I notice in a lot of movies mm-hmm. there's a scene where these like guys at a bar are um, you know they hear about the uh curfew set in place for the town everybody needs to go home blah 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 and so the I'm guessing he's the owner of the bar he like calls the police station and nobody answers Mm -hmm. so the you know him and a couple of his friends decide to leave and go see what's going on yeah so as they're leaving the bar there's like this voiceover of the the guy the main guy Mm -hmm. saying you know, we're going to the police station. The phone at the police station doesn't just keep ringing. Ringing. No way, no how. And it's like... <laughs> you don't see anybody's lips moving. Yeah. It's just like a distant shot, but you hear this obvious voiceover <laughs> that's just so... Dude, this guy's screaming at us. <laughs> so glaringly yeah. bad. It's yeah. so bad. <laughs> And it's just like, oh my gosh, this is so just cheap. It's mm-hmm. like, really? You couldn't just have him say that? Yeah. While you're filming this scene? <laughs> yeah, like, why, why like, even put that in there at all? <laughs> he had to go home for <laughs> for the rest of the day, so <laughs> they just they just recorded it <laughs> and put it in there. I don't, of yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I get that, you know, you want to let the audience know where they're going, <laughs> because they do end up at the police station later, which... Yeah. You know, I get that, that you need to say where they're going, but just the way that was done, like, oh my yeah. gosh. And that's, you know, not even a five-second part of the movie, <laughs> but it stands out to me so much. Yeah. Besides the ending, that I think of first, but then this that part is where <laughs> I think of second yeah. when I think of this movie. And um, <laughs> That's a great ending. That's a horrible scene. <laughs> I don't know why that stands out to me so much, but I hate when movies do that. Yeah. And that's like the 80s and 90s. Mm-hmm. You definitely can. We need to spill it out for the audience <laughs> so that they know what's going on. Yeah, but it's a, a, the voiceover. Like, yeah. it's one thing if it, like the character <laughs> says it and you see them saying it. Mm-hmm. Cool. But you don't even see him saying it. It's just like... It's just over the scene. Like, yeah. It's so yeah. weird. Uh, so, yeah. Big, uh... I mean, I feel like we're saying a lot of negatives, but I think our scores are going to be a little higher than our negatives suggest. Yeah, well, I mean, our negatives... I mean, they're, they're not... They're negatives, but they're yeah. not, like, really bad right. negatives. Right, right. Nothing, nothing to they're, do They're minor with, for the most part. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, I guess so. We just... We're just we just spent more time talking about <laughs> negatives than anything. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get the grade book out. All right, what is your grade, sir? So I think I gave one and two an A, ninety five and no. ninety. No, you did really? ninety five and eighty five. Really? Okay. <laughs> I could have sworn I gave the I gave no. two and ninety. No, no, sir. Oh man. Okay. Because I was going to give this one like an 87, but that would put it higher than 2, which I just said that it wasn't as good as 2, <laughs> but I could have sworn I gave that one a 90. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, well then I'm a liar. This is an 87. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, because I remember um, you're like, 85. We're going to just do a solid B. Yeah. Because <laughs> you did a solid A for yeah. the first one, so... Um, yeah, because I did an eighty three for the second one, so you you went higher than me. But I think you started at like eighty eight and then just mm-hmm. kept going down. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, my grade. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm a hundred percent sure it was okay. eighty five. All right. Well, wow. Well, okay. Well, there were parts of it that I liked more about this one, I guess, okay. than two. But yeah, I mean, 
eighty. I mean, I'm keeping my eighty-seven <laughs> score. Yeah, okay, okay. So, I'm just figuring out how um, the ranking system is going to go <laughs> okay. in the future. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So I'm going with an eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. I'm going oh a man. A little bit higher. One percent. And higher. I already had this like written mm-hmm. down, set in stone. Yeah. So I wasn't just trying to one up you. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, this. An eighty-seven point five. <laughs> yeah, do the prices right. Yeah, <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall this one was pretty mm-hmm. good. It was. And I think a lot of Halloween fans like this one. Yeah, especially because it brings back Michael. You know, that helps. Yeah, we hadn't seen Michael in what almost almost ten years. Yeah, this was eighty-eight, and I think yeah. two was eighty-one. Yeah, so it's yeah. been seven, eight years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Um, make sure to find us on Facebook. We are at Scare Talk Podcast, and then on Twitter we're at Scare Talk Pod. And you can listen to us everywhere and give us a comment, a recommendation. Let us know if you have any trivia questions, or if you like that segment, or if you hate it and you want us to never do it again. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> all right, I guess that's it. Nice. All right. Sleep tight. Don't let Jamie bite. <laughs>